Hello friends, this is Dawn from Chicken Wind Creations and I'm doing another video in our basic series um, of learning needle felting. And while I was trying to decide on what my next video would be about, I thought I would talk about mixing colors. So here's my thought. I am going to do a video making the child or commonly known as baby Yoda. However, I do not have what I think is a good color for him. These are some images that I printed off of the internet and you can see the colors are quite varied. Now this is some one that somebody needle felted. Um, these two are pretty close in color and this one's almost a more aqua color. So I'm trying to decide, you know, what color do I want to make him? And as I'm looking at my green stash here, I'm like, there's nothing here that I really like. I could go online and order a color. Um, so like... You know, this one here is pretty close to what this person used here. Uh, maybe a little bit more yellow undertones in it. And I actually made a Baby Yoda. If I can find a picture of it, I'll pop it up here and show you what I made for my daughter one year for Christmas. Um, but, you know, none of these are like really standing out to me as the color to use. And I thought, well, if I'm going to make... Uh, baby Yoda I need to have some wool to make it with and why not do a basics video on how to mix colors so here's what I'm going to do I'm going to leave that aside so like I said none of these here really strike my fancy this is all stuff that I just had in my stash and I, I could use any of them because there's no right or wrong color that you know you can do it's pretty much up to artist interpretation um I do kind of like this color but this is all I have of it so it's kind of close to this one so I could maybe try and lighten this one up but I thought I would try and do something just with the colors that I just got in my kit. So I'm going to shove all of these over to the side and I'm going to show you. These are the greens that came in my kit. I have an olive, I have a spearmint, and I have a Kelly green. Um, if you haven't seen my video on my new basic kit, you can go back and I'll try and remember to link it here. So I have these colors and I have my little guy here. So I'm trying to figure out, okay, what do I want to go with and how am I going to go about getting it? So you can buy a handheld, handheld carders to card your wool. Um, I'm too cheap to do that right now. <laughs> so I went and found myself some dog brushes. They have those little spiny things on them, which is pretty close to what you would buy if you actually bought some hand carters. Um, and these have been working pretty well. Eventually, maybe I will buy them, but for now, these are working well for me. So here's what I'm going to do. Since my spearmint is really kind of close to this one here, I'm going to start with that, but I'm going to add... A little bit of the Kelly green and I think I might add a little dandelion too just to kind of give it a little bit of a yellowish cast now this one has a little bit of a yellowish cast to it um, I don't think I'm gonna use the olive so this is olive right yes so I think I'm gonna put the olive away I'll put that over there all right so here's what I'm gonna do I'm going to take a little bit of my spearmint. Now I'm going to have to make, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to need to make enough of pretty close to the same color before I actually do my project. 
work. So this is just to kind of see if I can come up with an idea of the color that I like. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of spread this out and I'm going to lay this. Now this is already, you can see, this is already a combination of some colors. So I'm going to lay this out here like that. Then I'm going to take a little bit of the Kelly Green and I don't want a lot of this. So I'm just going to really kind of spread it out here. and put it over top. That's probably too much. So I don't want to do a real lot here. A little bit more in the middle. That might actually be too much. Let me get a little bit more spearmint here. I'm just going to spread that out. like that. Then I'm going to take my dandelion and I just want a little bit of that. So I'm just going to pull some fibers out. Now, I don't know if I do this right or not. I've watched a few videos, but there isn't a whole lot out there to tell you how to do it. So this is what works for me. Now I thought about adding you can see he's got a bit of pink or purple red around his eyes same with this guy here but i think i can add that after the fact if i want to include that so we're going to go with this so i got him pushed down here pretty well on the tines of the brush now i'm going to take the other one and i'm going to very gently start to pull the wool off the one so you can see it's slowly getting on there and I'm, I'm like kind of going up the going up a little bit so there we go and I'm gonna do that again I'm gonna start down here and gradually work my way up the other brush until I get most of it off okay so now, what if you don't have some brushes? Well, that's not a problem. Just do this. <laughs> Sit in front of the TV and start mixing up your colors. Simple as that. I did this for quite a while before I actually found some brushes that I really liked. If you have, you know, some colors that are really um, a lot there, just kind of pull them apart. And, you know, it's all going to, when you start to felt it onto your core wool, it's all going to kind of mix in too, especially if you pull it apart like this before you apply it to your core wool. Some bigger pieces here, I'll just pull that apart. And still got some yellow here. So now if I was going to use this on my project, I would want to make a whole bunch of it. So I would make some and then I would, you know, continue to make a bunch of it because I don't want to start putting it on my project and not have enough. I want to make sure that I have enough before I actually start to do my project. So that's not too bad. There's still some dark green in there. And I could always, I could always go back and do the, the brush again. Just kind of pull these apart here and set them on. Oops. Let's watch the tines because I jabbed myself with them in my right underneath my thumbnail a little bit ago, <laughs> putting wool on. Almost as bad as the needles. All right, so I put it back on there and I just do the same thing. Just start to brush the wool off. 
gradually going up as you're doing it until you have it all off. And I can turn it over. Yeah, that's not, not set in there very well, so it's going to come off. Okay. So now, let's see where we're at with my pictures here. So you can see, compared to the green we started with, it's a bit darker, a little more yellow. And let's see. Let's see, he's a little bit more blue, so I could add a little bit of blue in here if I wanted to. But uh, maybe a little bit of red. I don't know, it's not too bad. What do you think? I'm going to work with it a little bit more, but this is what I first did. Okay, so it's, it's pretty close. I think this has a little bit more yellow in it. And I could mix these together. See, what I would do is I would do a bunch of colors getting pretty close to where I want them to be. And then I would do this. I would mix them all together. So do little batches and then mix them all together. So you have enough to cover your project. So let's see. How does that look? What do you think? Probably won't really know until I actually get a piece of um, core that I can actually needle felt it on, which I will probably do before I actually start to make this and see how I like it. I have a few little balls waiting for to be made into something that I can try it on. But so anyway, that's how I mix colors with my wool. And we're going to try and make this. And I'm going to actually make it in real time. I'm not going to make one ahead. I'm going to show you the process of how I go about making a project from with no kind of tutorials. Now, I mean, there are a few videos out there on making a Baby Yoda, which I did watch the first time I made one. Um, but if you um, um, look in my opening screen to my YouTube videos, you'll see I have a, a Godzilla there and I have a dragon there. And the Godzilla, there was no real good tutorial out there to make it. So what I did was I printed off some pictures and I started to work on it. So that's what I'm going to do and that's how, what I'm going to show you how to do. So you can take any picture and turn it into a needle felting project. So those will be my next videos. Maybe a few other ones thrown in there here and there. But that's what I'm going to try next is to work on making a Baby Yoda, Grogu, the child, however you want to turn, turn, call him, <laughs> whatever I'm trying to say. So anyway, that's where we are. I'm going to try this on some core wool and see how I like it. And we will see you on the next video. Have a good day.